Hey everybody, welcome to Code a Responsive Website with Bootstrap 3. In this video I'm going to walk you through the final website and show you everything that we're going to be building in this course. So this is the final website as viewed on a large desktop. Starting from the top you can see the full width navigation bar which has a place for a logo, a couple navigation items. This one is a drop down menu which displays various different links within it. A search form where you can theoretically search for content on the website. In this course we won't be covering the full functionality of the form. Rather we will just be building the front end of the form. And over here we have a navigation item that is floated to the far right and it is also a drop down menu. But what's special about this one is that it has icons, font icons, these are actually fonts so they can scale to any size and will look crisp and clear on any device whether it's retina or not. Further down you can see this full width carousel. It's a sliding carousel so if you were to click on either of these arrows it will slide to the next carousel. Further down there's a big callout section where we have some text, a big header and a subheader, some lead-in text, a big button and a secondary link, and all of this is within what's called a well, which is a Bootstrap 3 feature. Further down, we are utilizing the Bootstrap 3 grid. We have three highlighted sections here, which are using the Bootstrap 3 grid some buttons, different styled buttons, something that's really neat in Bootstrap. You can easily swap out button colors just by changing classes. You can also change sizes, as you see here, and variations. This is actually a button as well. It just doesn't have a background. Further down the page, you can see that we're using the Bootstrap 3 grid again here with these two sections splitting half of the screen width. In this section, we'll be using a Bootstrap 3 feature called tabs, which lets you tab content. And you can have as many tabs as you want. You can have three, four, five, six, as many tabs as you want, as long as it fits and makes sense. So we will also be embedding a real Google map, which is responsive as well. We will also be utilizing another tab, floating a picture, using a bootstrap feature called thumbnail to make the image look like a thumbnail. And we'll be also using the bootstrap three modal window which looks like this. Within the modal window, we're gonna be using some text. We'll have a big button, which features a popover, which is another Bootstrap 3 JavaScript plugin. We'll be doing tooltips, which is also a Bootstrap 3 JavaScript plugin, and a form, a contact form, with name input, email input, and message input, and a submit button. Again, this form doesn't actually go anywhere. It's just the front end just to give you an idea of how to build a form. And you can also close this modal window by clicking the X up here or close. Over here we'll just be filling out this other column with some text using different styled headings, just some paragraph text, and this is a new, a brand new Bootstrap 3 feature called List Group. And these actually are linked, so you can use these in really creative ways. In this example I, I just have a list of different foods and it has the description if you were to click on it perhaps it would open up a new page or a modal window that explains these items more in depth however you want to use them. Further down we will be using more bootstrap 3 columns. These elements are called thumbnails just like you saw up here this is a thumbnail but this is using a thumbnail with content within it rather than just a single image and the way that I'm using it is just to feature a couple of my different courses that I offer. You could put whatever you want, obviously. I have the big hero graphic, the title, a little brief intro text on the course, and the price. You could press this button and it would take you to the course page on Udemy. Likewise with this thumbnail. And at the very end of the page, we have a full width footer, which is also using the bootstrap grid. You can see that these are set up in a grid. And we'll just be putting some links, some small headers, a little about us copy, adding the copyright symbol. And we'll be using another bootstrap icon down here. So just to show you how this website works, 
in a responsive manner, if I shrink my browser, you'll see that the layout changes. So this would be a small desktop, and you can see the layout pretty much looks the same, it's just smaller. Another one down. This would be a tablet. You can see everything works perfectly. The layout has just adapted to fit a tablet so that you could view all the content properly in the way that it was designed and coded on your tablet. If I go down even further, you'll see something kind of neat. Now I'm on a phone or a really small uh, mobile device and you could see that this new element popped up. Give us a call, a big black button that says give us a call with a little mobile icon. And that is using a specific Bootstrap 3 class that recognizes the browser size and displays the element whether the browser is that size or not. So you could see when I get bigger to a tablet, it disappears. But theoretically, if I'm on a phone, you can click this button and give this company a call. Also up here, you can see that the navigation menu changed. And that automatically changes without any extra work when you use Bootstrap 3. And you can see that now the menu's a drop down. Everything still works. It just gets it out of the way, so it works good on a phone. Scroll down, everything still works here. It's just the layout has changed, everything's kind of stacked vertically. The tabable content is still there. The modal window fits beautifully within this small browser size. Everything still works. Got the form, submit button close the modal window. Here's the other column. Now sits below the tabs. Got your list group. And then this. You'll notice that these thumbnails didn't stack vertically like all the rest of the website. And that's a brand new feature of Bootstrap 3, which allows you to choose whether you want your columns to stack vertically when you're on a small browser size, like a mobile device or if you want to try and maintain the column layout. And so in this case, I didn't want them to fill out the full size of the browser. And I believe that it just kind of is a good example of the new Bootstrap 3 grid. So we'll be covering that a little bit as well in the course. And then down here, you can see in the footer, everything stacks vertically, looks good on a phone. And there's one last thing I'll show you here. We're also going to be using a little bit of jQuery to do something kind of neat. So if I click this button, this little alert box comes up. And I can close that alert box right over here. And that's a bootstrap feature as well. It's called an alert. And we're just going to be touching on a little bit of jQuery just to kind of give you an idea or an insight into the jQuery world. Maybe get you curious to want to learn a bit more. So that's the website. That's what you'll be building. It's super easy with the new Bootstrap 3, and I think you're gonna love building this website. So follow along, because in the next video, I'm going to be going over the course files, which will be supplied to you. And then we'll get started on the site. So I will see you there.